Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you uh, how uh, design, how to design login form in uh, ASP.NET Core without entity framework. So in the previous video tutorial, uh, we have seen about the register page or you can say register uh, form in ASP.NET Core without entity framework. In this, uh, in the, uh, I was used I configuration file and the common helper class. Uh, uh, to get the data uh, from uh, database and the communication with the database using the common helper class and the i configuration file is actually used to uh, get the connection string from uh, app settings.json file you know that that is the form uh, that is the action method of the register control and that is the uh, register uh, action method for the post okay so uh, that is already discussed in the previous video tutorial so uh, today uh, I'm going to show you how the login form will work because uh, every uh, or you can say that uh, each user can sign up uh, into the system after that uh, they are login into the system so uh, what is the credential at here username and the password is the credentials for the every users actually so uh, also in the registration form you can see that entry into the session is also mentioned I mean to say that username is uh, entered into the session so that is the first thing uh, to remind uh, in in your project to design register and login form without entity framework if you want okay so so what is the next step to design login form the first thing is to add model okay and the second thing is to add uh, action methods that is the http get and http post so the first thing is to add a view model uh, there is a no need to design the models because uh, your database is uh, cleared uh, designed clearly designed so just add a new view model into your system or into your project you can say so add a new class and in the class you can add a view model uh, login view model you can say <clears throat> so the properties of the login view model is id username and the passwords so just paste it here okay id is the you know that the primary key but is there is no need into the view model uh, if you want to design uh, create edit and something uh, the users then id is the most to, to required and in the later video session i will uh, show you how the role will work uh, in the system in the um, credential systems but uh, today uh, i have uh, i am going to show you only the login form so this is the http get method of the login form and according to the uh, login http uh, http get login form you have to design your view I mean to say that UI uh, user uh, presentation okay and uh, user interface you have to design by using the scaffolding so just add a uh, create as a template and the model is a login view model and the name of the view is login that is the similar name for the action okay so ID is not uh, required to uh, logged into the system and there is unusual text and uh, value is create of the button but uh, I want to use login okay that's clear so HTTP get is clear when username and password put into the text box and click on the login button then HTTP post method will call you know that so just add uh, just copy that uh, uh, form or you can say just copy that methods related to the login form just paste it here and you can check that login view model just username and the password and the id property is there and check if string is null or empty username and the password are uh, mentioned uh, are have some text in the uh, text boxes uh, like the username and the password have some text box in the form of the text if both are empty and click on the submit button then you have to check string is null or empty uh, if uh, both are and or you can say that uh, anyone uh, both are empty then return that value 
so view back dot error message username and the password is empty and also add that uh, view bag in the razor pages so span first of all check the conditions if view bag dot error message is not equals to null is not equals to null then in the span tag you have to show your error message so uh, the next thing to add uh, in the razor pages that is span class and the class is alert alert danger because that is the error message okay and uh, the next thing to add that is the successful message on your view back if uh, bool is find i mean to say that sign in in the method username and the password have uh, in the database uh, both text are exist in the database or you can say that username and the passwords exist in the database table then sign in method uh, is actually used for that that return true okay so just you have to check it and paste that code into the visual studio project and just after that the login okay sign in method uh, uh, as a parameter uh, username and the password as a parameter okay that sign in method vm dot username and the passwords just pass that uh, actual parameter into the formal parameter that is the username and the passwords after that we have to set the flag values false mm, that is the boolean variable and query is select a strict from user table uh, where username and the passwords both are matched if username matched and the password both are matched then return then pass that query uh, to the helper class that is the underscore helper dot get user by username and that method is actually at here just copy that and paste in the common helper class so just open your common helper class and paste that code at here okay and uh, okay fine so you can see in the common helper class uh, that return the user actually user view model okay uh, that return the user about the user information like the uh, name username email contact number role id etc so later uh, uh, just after few seconds or you can say few minutes uh, i will design that class also so uh, just uh, just after that you can see that connection string and connection string is getting from uh, configuration file i configuration file and the sql connection is there connection open state is there query is similar select a strict from user table and where username and the password both are matched if both are exist and uh, query is get the value related to the username and the passwords then uh, then return the username and that then return the user actually so that is query is related to the database table and return the user information like that you like id username password email name contact number address and the role id after that return user the user means that these are the informations i mean to say the first or default you can say so uh, design a user view model class first of all to remove that error okay and uh, uh, um, basis on the id username password that that is uh, that class is actually already exist in the uh, in my notepads and dot cs file so first of all add a new class okay uh, in the user view model you know that uh, just copy that these properties id username email passwords name contact number address and role id these are the uh, fields you can say okay and the next thing is to resolve your uh, namespace just using the control period uh, 
key and resolve user view model now after that uh, just open the account controllers and you can see that if user is find then username is not equals to null if username is not equals to null then return uh, as a flag value is false set the flag value is false and the username is just pass into the session if username uh, is null then view back dot error message is username and the password wrong and return the flag value that is false is find I mean to say that uh, user is find then return redirect to action that is index actually index is not there so return view uh, on the login form you can say and just remove uh, from as a param uh, as a parameter value in the views uh, page return view uh, the next thing is login so also return view only okay so the view back dot error message is username and the password is empty so just add a successful message also in the view back so view back dot successful message equals to uh, thanks for login okay now after that uh, just uh, add your view back dot success message in your CSS HTML file looking like that uh, looking like error message so just copy that uh, division section or you can say inside your division just uh, copy that if uh, view back error message code and paste again and only change with or you can say replace with the view uh, error uh, with the success so just paste oops just paste okay I remove the one view back from the code okay and also from here so uh, this is the pretty simple uh, code you can design in uh, in ASP.NET Core uh, if you are using uh, without entity framework or you you are using SQL client as a namespace uh, or you the SQL client library in the in your in your project so after that you can run your project and navigate to the login form or reaction method you can say and the username and the password is uh, first of all check into from the database table database and books.db and the user table is view data okay a is there actually so username is a and the password is also a so just check it and in the later video session i will show you how to use hash uh, in asp.net core uh, to protect your passwords so click on the login thanks for login uh, that is the message ab okay uh, it's actually it's not written the desired value so first of all uh, click on uh, set the debugging point to check uh, the message the proper message okay so just open your uh, co uh, controller and the common helper class is the similar account controller just open it and uh, you can see thanks for the login message is success uh, is actually uh, checked mm, just get the detail of the user if it is if it is null okay so just create a debugging point at here user detail dot username is not equals to null just I want to check the user details value if it is null then uh, set the error message properly okay so accounts and login and in the login just add the false value a b and a and click on the login button yeah on the hit the debugging point and you can check the user details value the user details is actually uh, null then uh, just go to the else section 
so just uh, step over uh, just click on the step over button in the visual studio and uh, navigate to the cursor actually to check the uh, what actually uh, problem is there okay view back dot error error is not uh, actually existing in the CSHTML file because the error is not there error message is actually there so just use error message instead of error so just copy that view back dot error message error msg and just replace with the error okay uh, username and the password is wrong okay clear now again run it so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core and many more videos are remaining related to asp.net core and i will help you related to topics which is uh, uh, okay so please don't forget please subscribe my channel if you like this video and as usual you know that uh, i will help you uh, if you subscribe my channel thank you very much for watching